together, yeah? <laughs> this always happens. Hey, hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our channel if you are a subscriber and welcome to our channel if you are new. I'm Nadine. I'm Tahir. So today we're gonna do a really highly requested, if I must say. <laughs> <laughs> it was very requested on TikTok, I would yeah, say. Yeah, TikTok and Insta. Dubai haul. So we're gonna do perfumes. I literally have two and Nadine has ten. This so. is over two trips, so <laughs> I'm not weirder. No, the last trip we bought so many. Bahor, Dahorn, and also I bought some Abayas. We went to three different places for the Abayas. We went to Global Village, a shop called Classy YM, and also the old Dubai market. We're also gonna put where it's from, prices. This is gonna be a very detailed video. So if you're going on holiday to Dubai, we'll be able to give you a full rundown of everything. So guys, if you wanna see what we got, then keep on watching. To make this easier, we're gonna start with what we got from each brand. Yeah. So it makes it a lot smoother. So it was the uae 49th anniversary so because of that they have a five day weekend which also means loads of discounts on shopping if you ever want to go i would actually say go yeah, on the, the, the anniversary time. because the amount of discounts like arabian oud has like buy one bottle get the other one for mm, free and so good. that was amazing if i had more luggage girl <laughs> and more money so the first brand is ibrahim al qurashi and this brand is a saudi brand they had a 50 percent off discount which was incredible and me and tahir regretted buying perfumes <laughs> from dubai mall because when we looked at the discount our math dropped if you looked at our vlog you actually see a very small clip of this when we filmed it and it kind of looks like an ice cream place do you want to explain what this product is essentially i was given this by my friend and it's basically a body spray when you come out of the shower it's called powder musk it smells like a pillow a fresh it pillow honestly, <laughs> it smells so good so basically how it works is once you come out the shower spray this on your body as like a body perfume but the way it sticks onto your skin and when you sweat that's literally what you smell like yeah. it's only exclusive to ibrahim al qurashi it's a very unique product for them yeah so yeah i bought one of the mask special two of the powder musk and one of the vanilla overall i bought about five i got a pomegranate one so i got the vanilla musk and i also got the original musk and these are 75 mils which is actually really good i shower with this like yes, i have another I shower i've been using this every time i come at the shower since this whole lockdown and i'm just like you need to relax because i can't buy this I very know. often i think they're originally like 50 pounds but on the sale it went down to 20 or just under 20 pounds i also actually got two other perfumes from there i can't show you because i've already given them to the people I can't really ask for it back. <laughs> Give me it for a video. Yeah. <laughs> and what we messed up on. I was on, just about to say it. You're so weird. <laughs> they actually do hair mist as yeah, well. Yeah, we regretted the fact that we didn't bring. We just didn't have space. I was so tired of carrying stuff because we went to Dubai Mall first. Spent three hours there. The guy ate my ear out, man. The thing is, we don't mind paying for extra luggage. We did that for Egypt, but Emirates luggage. It was so expensive for another like not even 20 kg suitcase it was Ten up to 400 off. pounds so we just did what we had to do basically if you want to see what we did watch our vlog <laughs> you can just say oud hendal oud hendal oud hendal oud this is the next brand it's called hendal oud i'm very nervous to say it. i'm not nervous to say it just say it now okay hendal oud there we go honestly this brand was my favorite favorite so this brand is in the dubai mall in the perfumery section there's a whole floor it's called the perfuming coat it has your french perfumes and then it has a whole arab section as well again you can see it in the vlog this was one of the perfumes that we got i got one i love uh, how you kept the packaging by the way i love to keep especially when it's a fancy box i always keep it. chuck it out the window i got two perfumes one was a gift it was called patchouli that's the one it smelled like heaven do you know what's so weird when i sprayed it here it smelled really bad it just doesn't smell the same i think it's because of the weather but perfumes perform better under cold that's why they tell you to put your perfumes in the fridge i've never heard that in egypt they always say put your perfume in the fridge and it intensifies the smell so this is the emirati musk it's a really nice musky perfume i think it's one of their best sellers i don't know the notes and stuff i'm not good with that stuff if you want to search it search it up yourself i made you the video you take the <laughs> name and go search it yourself nadine doesn't know these things i like to know when we're in the perfume section she's like yeah yeah it's got sandalwood right like, because do you know that do you know why because i like to know what ingredients that i like so then when i look for other perfumes i can look That's for the same smart. things Sky speaking in arabic to her i was not involved he was more worried about semi yusuf walking past us and he was like is that semi yusuf like, wow this time i bought one for my brother this is called the emirati oud this is emirati musk mm. that's oud so i think they're about the same i skip smelling them and i can't yeah. tell the difference and they got amazing lasting power oh my god i put like one two maybe three if i'm feeling a bit different mm. it's stingy 
You have to be like me. Stingy with the amount of uses. This is expensive. Oh, By yeah. the way, this lasts so well on clothes. If I honestly spray it and put the item in my the cupboard, the whole cupboard, the whole cupboard smells like the perfume. The perfumes are 50 ml, which is also decent. It's the normal size. So I got this one for myself the first time we went, and mm. I am so obsessed with it. This is a very unique perfume. It smells like bottled bhur. It's called the... Miskashiu. When she introduced me to it, she was like, "This is very unique. I don't know if you're gonna like it." And I fell in love. You can see the bottles are different. This was like another color collection as well because they had a few different ones this is i think from the original and this is like a special collection that was how much you think i'm gonna remember i don't even remember my name the, <laughs> the prices vary and also oud is normally a lot more expensive to make anyways so from the same brand i'm very ashamed of myself i'm not even gonna lie because <laughs> when i realized i don't know what kind of crack i was on guys that day i kept walking around and she's like oh, how much is it <laughs> 200 oh okay and i was like nadine what's going i was like are you okay like wake up you know what it is she doesn't spend her money unless she genuinely thinks about it and does her research and stuff mm. so when i see tahir spending i'm like yeah okay okay Tahir's spending let so, me spend as well i smelled this when i first went in august and i liked it then <laughs> long. and i remember liking it and i remember taking the little card i like to make sure i know what i'm doing with my money she doesn't bother the person no, she no, just no, no. takes it i do my own thing i used to work in retail so i'm not one of them people Mm. But I smoked that last time. I don't remember why I didn't buy it. I should have just bought it that first time. I feel like it's a good thing that she doesn't just spend her money. This little thing is three mils and it's called Sheikh Z. It's a concentrated oil. Now, the thing is with Arabs, there is something called oils, bukhur, perfume. The reason why these smell so intense. out there. Yeah. That's why when they walk past, like if you're ever in Selfridges or Harrods, this like woof of smell. And it's not just from one perfume. They put oil. They put perfume and they also put the horn or bukhor. So it's layered. You literally use this for a special occasion. This was 95 pounds and 20 pence. I don't know what, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what possessed me. You know what? I saw my Emirati friend talking about concentrated oils. And I was like, I really want one as well. These stink. But once you actually leave it on your skin, it smells so mm. good. I obviously regret spending that much money. But I know it's going to last me for a very long time. Normally, Arabs use this for special occasions like weddings or she's a bride. Clearly, she's not a bride. I'm married to myself. <laughs> B. And men and women use this, by the way. It's unisex. These ones are normally so strong. And some of them smell like horse poo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The reason why I bought this one is because it it's wasn't quite light. strong. Even though it's strong, yeah. it's like a light strong, do you know what I mean? So, everybody in this world, actually don't get it, I don't want it to sell out, it's already sold out. Everybody needs this, everybody needs this. It's really good. So this is the Khun Kambudi from Hindalood and this one is 125 grams. The Khun looks like this, it's like little circular pieces and you literally take the tiniest amount put on the coal. It actually looks like coal pieces, do you know what I mean? No, to but me like it looks like horse <laughs> I'm so sorry, it looks like horse poo No, to me. it looks like charcoal pieces, but softer. I've had this since August 2020. And it's like nothing has left. Yeah, and I gave a full one to my sister as well. So this smells like heaven. Now this, you use it for your hair, for your clothes. Don't waste it on the atmosphere. So there's two different types. There's one for the house, just make it smell nice, which you use on like special occasions, like weddings, or when you have guests or something like that. Bukhur, you can also use it for yourself and for the house. Whereas Dukhun is just for your personal use. So this is more like a perfume for for yourself but you can put it in your hair make it smell really nice and it really lasts in the hair yeah that's if you have dense hair like this wig this one was amazing i recommend can one you cough? <laughs> this one was amazing this one is the best the horn in the world would you agree oh, so nice to hear regrets not buying Do you know why because i didn't really understand what this stuff is asians typically we burn incense sticks it's not very common though like to have this type of smell in a stick so but i did actually get one from hind as a sample however smelling this i kind of want to get into it now because it smells so good by the way hind Raoud, you can't get it anywhere else it's made in the uaa uaa you can only get it in the emirates which is really oh. nice if you want to go on holiday and we want to get something very exclusive, exclusive. Because then you know no one else can get it. Now this was gifted to me. Put the bag. Put it in the bag. It came with a really nice pouch, guys, and I really appreciate things like this. Came in this pouch. It's so beautiful, and it was wrapped nicely. Too heavy. So this one is 125 grams. This one is 250 grams. This one was gifted to me by an amazing Emirati friend. Her name is Abi, and I'm just gonna give her a shout out. We became friends from working at Selfridges, by the way. So weird and random. Can you speak slower? People are not gonna understand. I'm so sorry. Friend is Emirati. Her name is Abi. You know half an hour because you're acting like it's a 60 second video. <laughs> so yeah, she gifted me this and this smells so nice. 
it's a lot bigger in size yeah again same idea the horn this one is called pink smoke i like it but it's a little bit lighter for me i like something a little bit heavier more feminine i would say yeah very feminine. it's really nice it's very luxurious and the packaging i love it this is so intense it smells like the horn when i open my cupboard that's how intense it is blends of love so this brand is called Khaltat and it's under the same umbrella of Hindaloud. I bought this in my first trip to Dubai. This is called Aloha and it smells like something from Arabian Oud. Actually. Quite sweet but it's also got that musk and you can see by just the colour. I personally remember when we went to this brand. I couldn't find anything that I liked from the brand. The nice thing about these Emirati brands, they have amazing gift with purchase. Even box sets as well. Like they even had a whole clips and the holder. They had a whole set and the perfume as well. So funny, this brand is really cringy. Yeah, they it's have very poem. romantic. It's called <laughs> Blends of Love. It has a whole poem on here. To love is to receive a glimpse of eternity. This was 65 mil as well. Also from Khaltat, I bought Dukhun. It's called <laughs> Libi and again, same idea. Dukhun looks like this. This one is my least favourite. I personally didn't like this one. This is very fresh smelling. Very sweetie feminine way. We like heavy smells. We're just mm. possessed. So the next brand is called Anfas Al Khalij. Now this brand is great because it's actually affordable. It's 100 mil as well. So I bought three from Anfas Al Khalij and this is the box for one of them it's very luxurious this one is called red musk so i bought two for my friends the first one is the red musk and the other one is shumukh al khalij i remember this one was quite a fresh smell because her friend doesn't actually like musky oud so this was a little bit lighter but it's still got a nice richness i think this one this one doesn't remember anything. this is a lot more musky on udi from the name you can just tell yeah if it has khalij in it you just know it's gonna be thick if anyways these are 100 ml each and it's also made in the uae which is very special the one i bought for myself is called amir and there was an offer I'll buy two get one half price so again because of the uae international day so she had to she no, just had, had to. to so technically this was kind of free so yeah it's, it's not good. as bad yeah. so i think one thing that we realized being there is like you've got your arab perfumes like your khaliji perfume scents and then your french scents a french perfumery will never have something as strong or as musky yeah. or wood basically i needed to buy a perfume for my mom as a gift and i found this brand it's called gutel this is called tenue de soir um, i would have said tenue de souris Soir. That's how I would have said ah, it. Stuff, really <laughs> Basically, this was for my mom. It smells very French, guys, very light. I actually know the story word for word. So bless him. The guy was really sweet. He was very passionate and we don't have time. We were exhausted. I'm not going to lie to you. At one point, I just zoned out because he was telling me too many stories. So he just worked for like loads of the different concession brands. He was going through every brand with us, which is nice. But the thing is, when you're on holiday, you don't have time. I appreciate them, but I just didn't have the time. Get, do you think when I take this out to you and spray myself, oh this woman made it because her mom was dying i don't care <laughs> her daughter brought out her perfumes after she died because she felt like her mom's perfumes were very special and her mom used to make the so i was listening there you go <laughs> her mom made these perfumes for her daughter and for herself and every yeah. perfume had a story so this one he was like this is for the girl that takes her mom's lipsticks the rebellious one the young one that goes out at night and she's like yeah i need it for my mom and he was like for your mom this is not very mature scent i would say this is a little bit similar to Lancome La Via Belle, very slightly, a little bit of black opium from YSL. Mm. How the f flip does she know? Because I used to work in perfume. I actually really like this. It's a really nice smell. So this came in this beautiful box and it came with this. It was an offer. This is a cream. Oh, basic packaging. <laughs> no, I was going to take it out to show it to no, you guys, but it's fine. basic packaging. And then also from the same guy, he was very lovely. He worked on another brand. Okay, so this brand is called Anne First. And guys, look at this bottle. The bottle. I'm so angry because when I opened mine, it was broken. These are made in Italy. It's an Arabic perfumer, but he makes it in Italy. This is a weight. I can do lifts with this. Whoa. Allah, you can <laughs> knock someone out with this. The lid is heavy as it is. We saw this concession in the perfumery section. We were like, just, just have a look, right? Mm. So he smelt one and I smelt one and he was telling us the story, blah, blah, blah. He's like, this is so unique. And we were like, yeah, here we go. Waffle and waffle. And then we basically took the paper and we walked for like, what, five seconds? And then we're like, no, this is so good. I kept smelling. I was like, no, nah, this is too good. What is this? Because he said it's unique. And I didn't believe him. I was thinking whatever. But it genuinely was unique. And we didn't smell anything like it before. So we went back. And we're like, what's that perfume that he showed us? He showed us. I was like, okay, how much is it? And he was like, are you ready? He said something like 1,000 something dirhams. And I was like, if that's that in dirhams, <laughs> that means it in pounds. pounds. I think it was a roughly around 240, 250 pounds. That's a lot of money for a perfume. The one to he wanted was sold, sold out. He was saying he can make it for her. I was already. like, I need it now, like today. I'm leaving tomorrow. I bought this one and he actually gave me this one. It's called cool. Sharaf. And it's literally almost a full tester. But he was like, have you ever seen anybody that gives you a full bottle? I was like, no. As 
a gift. That's a free gift, guys. This is two hundred and forty pounds. Uh, one of these like big perfumes that you'll buy in London, and they'll give you two of these and say, "Oh, that's it." Mm. This is why I like shopping in that country. My gift. I got bottle. gifts. I felt like it was my birthday. This is a very like woody. I wouldn't say spicy. It's not like that really heavy spice. It's very woody and smoky. It's really nice. Out of all the brands, Hindelwood and Anfas are the ones. Definitely ones to invest in. It's more special occasions, and if you want something that's going to be special and more memorable on your trip. Do you remember the guy that gave us the bracelet? Oh, I should have brought my bracelet. We went to City Walk and this guy was so sweet. He was actually, I think, Emirati or mm. Armani. I don't know. He was selling beaded jewelry and I don't really like beaded jewelry. I like more gold. I think he was selling Tuspies as well. That's why he went. Oh, there. yes. I don't know why he gave it to us. I think he must have. We, just, we must have been good looking. It's a charm. You know? I know. I'm joking. Okay, so that's everything from perfumes. And that's also everything from the Dubai Mall and the City Walk. City Walk, I feel like, is more for Emirati. If you want to look at good looking Emirati guys, go to City Walk, okay? There was this one calf. What is it called? I think it was called Hello or something like that. They look like white dubs. <laughs> it was full of just white. And when I say that, I don't mean like the skin color. I meant like, you know, the thobes the, that I buy. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to the Global Village. I'm going to show you guys what we bought. They have like perfumes, clothing, scarves, literally anything you can think Food. of. You can see that in the vlog as well. I'm going to start this off because i think i got the most so for those who don't know what global village is a whole marketplace i would say a shopping place with different countries from the world the place that i went to to get these things in the egypt place of course we had to go to the egypt place yeah for me. and honestly it was probably the best one so i just went to go get these abayas just like kind of like homeware not like an abaya that you think of like a proper one this it's is long. like a dress almost so i first got this one i saw it at this one stand and i was like i need that <laughs> it just looked amazing it's very traditional so this see. embroidery is basically we have like a place in Egypt called Siwa mm. and it's basically the tradition of the Siwa people yeah. this looks amazing one to you guys it comes with a little like belt as well so it's really nice and fitted and then I also got another one it's just like a white one and I would wear these type of things personally for me like during Ramadan like going to people's houses even mm. on holidays I like to wear like these type of things for like Eid like I think I might wear that black one for mm. Eid I think it'll be really cute and it's very unique as well not yeah. a lot of people will have it because it's not a traditional abaya Egyptians call it galabiya so I got three of these and I think all three were 150 dirhams altogether, which is around 20 pounds. For me, I didn't buy a lot from Global Village because by that time I bought a lot of things and sis over here was not trying to buy another week. What I bought was this Bukhur and that one is for the home. This is fabulous. It's almost finished and I'm so upset. So can you just explain this? Because this is actually really different from the other one. She makes this herself. It basically like these beads that she made herself mm. and she covered it in a coat of whatever this is. It was like an offer three for 50 dirham or 150 dirham. I'm not quite sure. Sure. My friend Abira also bought this for me. Her brand is called Tanaj Al Khalij. Her name is Maryam. She also put her number here. So if you're in Dubai, it's amazing. And I'm literally almost finished with it. This was in the Emirates section. And what's so good about it as well, so intense when you burn it. Mm, it's a really nice cookie. Yeah, like after I cook fish, for example, I put this on. I swear it smells so good. And it gets rid of all the smells. Mm, it's really, really nice. Yeah. Another thing I bought, which my mom stole off me, which is fine. <laughs> I'll let her get The Emirati Dijdasha. This is actually a men's one. And I actually bought it to wear it as an actual scarf around my head this one is nice because it was for the winter it's quite thick so it's really pretty it's got embroidery again abir bought this for me she's so sweet she literally has the money on this her one's sleeve. looking like this and she really has the money she's holding it like that <laughs> yeah i don't even notice we also mentioned that we went to classy ym for our buyers like the proper ones now not like the long dresses we both got them from classy ym i got one as a gift for my friend i got one for myself however i couldn't find it it was an organza named black i'll put the image from their instagram yeah. nadine bought one as well which is beautiful and she wore it out and the thing is it's not a traditional abaya it's a very modern young brand they went from about 250 and it comes with the dress Cold overcoat blue. and then the shella yeah and the, there's like a wrap thing around the mm. waist i'm gonna put a picture mm. and uh, i got a lot of looks that day boy <laughs> i got a lot of looks i have a picture on my instagram follow my instagram and here's instagram by the way the quality was really good also mm. had a sale again at this time to be honest another thing that stopped me from buying a couple is because i live in this stupid weather the thing is we don't actually get opportunity to wear these things here however because i personally i can wear it like anytime i have a lot of family gatherings i don't have one family <laughs> Yeah. Here's my all, family. All her family is in Egypt, unfortunately. So okay, so next we went to the old souk in Dera, and this place is amazing. It's the old Dubai, and that's where you get the proper real market. Again, that's in the vlog. So the gold souk is there. They have the spice, they have clothes, abayas for men, everything, even perfumes. But we didn't get to go to that section. We were a bit late. I'll show you the abayas that I bought. It took a while to find these, guys. When I tell you, you got a negotiation, yeah, it was stress. a bargain. 
Oh, it's so hard. It's so funny because she wasn't even doing the bargaining, but she was stressed. We went to this first place, right? And the mistake that I made was falling in love. <laughs> falling in love at first sight. The thing is, this guy was very popular because he had a lot of tourists, foreigners that don't, don't negotiate. They just buy it and take it. So he's like, if I know I can sell it at that price, I'm not going to go lower. What we've learned in the next shop is that we go in, say how much we have and what we expect. I bought three buyers in total. It was supposed to be gifts, however, I like them all. So I sold my siblings that they can borrow it from me. <laughs> I'm gonna put the video of the shop we actually bought it from because the guy was so nice and I promised him yeah. that I'm gonna promote his thing. So I wanted to get a really nice traditional one, like a black, because you always need a black one. My sister, before I went, right, I was like to her, do you want anything? She was like, yeah, get me in a buyer. I was like, okay, sure. She was like, it'll be really good for funerals. I looked at her and I was like, Funeral. okay, a great way to lighten the mood. Oh, she's planning someone's death. I wanted a black one, but I didn't want a plain black one. And I found this beauty. She'll model it for I'll you. I'll model it for you guys. It's got this really nice embroidered here. Stone work. In the waist, it's got like this rope that you can like cinch it in a little bit. Even on the bottom as well, it's got the stone work. And then it comes with the yeah. shella. It has the same embroidery on there. It's really nice. So this abaya is one of the three abayas that he got from the market. However, she forgot to show it on camera. Okay, sorry guys. We got cut off the last thing i was talking about was the prices of everything the three are buyers i ended up getting them for 250 altogether that was after a lot of bargaining no, and i just want to add one more thing when you're buying perfumes even in the big malls always ask for gifts and always try to be cheeky be like if i buy two what will you give me it actually works in these countries it's yeah, not like here so you've reached the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the haul if you need any more information on anything that we show perfumes the clothes just put a question down in the comment section and we'll get back to you and don't forget to follow our social media it will also be down below and on the screen and make sure you check out our other videos especially our vlog you're gonna love it don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave us a comment below let us know what other videos you would like us to film all right guys thank you so much for watching Bye. bye